small. One of the teachers here. I'm the lucky one who gets to oversee this year's activity play. It's always the same this time of year. We're so busy. I sometimes wonder why we bother to do a play at all. Still, no time for chatter. I must get back to the planning meeting. This is it, St. Joseph's Primary School Drum Quinn. The principal here is uh, Mrs. Donnelly and they have 143 children in total. They certainly have a good reputation. Lessons back in summer 2016 and rated outstanding for enthusiastic staff and a positive learning environment. Well, they won't be expecting us, so let's see for ourselves how well they're doing. Oh! 
spring, but I'm no good with a sewing machine. I have something splendid to create with just some string and sticky tape. Excuse me, Mrs. Mullen says please can you have the key to the drama cupboard. Can I have the key to the drama cupboard please, Carla? Here you are, you may bring it straight back and she's finished with it. Thank you. Good morning, school on privacy and register for you. Good morning, thank you. Siobhan, Kate's fallen over and hurt his knee. Go to Mary, quick. I'll sort it. Come here till I have a look. Oh, I didn't think juicy. Well, Raymond really Moon, they bought another sofa, so he's putting the owner up for sale. Says he'll deliver it too. That sofa goes better than last time. And that nobody's videoing. Well, Sean O'Kane's advertising. Says his business is quiet. Should that not be businesses? Dead. Get it? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> and Fergal Logan called Lady Patterson up to put her own panel. Ah, uh, isn't it great to see a young lad like that getting this chance? Miss Donnie that the ETI inspector to your see her. ETI 
FBI inspectors. We're here to inspect your school. We're here to inspect your teachers. We're here to inspect you all. Sorry if it's such short notice, but we hope you understand. Well, we want you to follow all so we need your lesson plans, books, planners, and all your test scores. Just carry on and tell me.
of Mr. Mania, Mr. Coleman, and Mrs. Bray. Do you like to ask me any questions? I'm sure you'll be very interesting. Anything you have to say, do you take a seat. So children, who can remember what we talked about last lesson? Hayden. We talked about Christmas books. Well done, Hayden. Who was in a Christmas story at the beginning? Yes, Adam. Mary and Joseph. That's right, Mary and Joseph. They did that on the journey, didn't they? That's right, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Who can tell me if I'm going to have to travel? Mark? Please, Miss, can I go to the toilet? Yes, Mark, go quickly. Anya, my car was at the map. Well, there's 70 miles or so. 70 miles or so, you're absolutely right, Tony. Well done. Who can tell our visitors about what we learned about how they travel in those days? Eva? They didn't have many cars in those days, so they probably had to walk. Joseph had to walk. Mary went on a donkey. A superhero could get there in four minutes. 70 miles in four minutes. That would be.
reckon if some inspectors ask them questions, they get some very strange answers. <laughs> One, one boy in our, my class knows that Boris Johnson could be one of the wise men. There's wiser eating grass. <laughs> <laughs> what if I said a skinny king could be one? <laughs> what if I said Grandma Mary from John Quinn could be one? What if I said that if they were wise, why did we give Jesus in our Quinn jersey? <laughs> why are we on the subject of the wise men? I think we better get back to our rehearsals. <laughs>
hundred. Thank you for all coming along. Your teachers probably told you we'd like to have a little chat about your nativity plan. We've really enjoyed all your hustles. You certainly look as if you've been enjoying them too. We do want every year sure, but this one's the best. So why do you think you do a nativity plan every year? It's a tradition in this country, sir. But the first nativity ever took place in a cave in Italy in about the year 1223. In those days, a lot of people couldn't read or write, so a man called St. Francis of Assisi decided to teach the people the Christmas story by performing it with people and animals from this village. I think we do it to cheer the teachers up. Really? Do you think they enjoy doing it every year? I think they really like the songs we're doing. The other day I heard Mrs. Wood singing the angel song in the toilet. I reckon the teachers have a laugh and they enjoy themselves. They like showing off their dance moves, especially with Devin. I don't think they enjoy it because it's too much hassle and stress. Miss Ron gets well stressed Only when we forget our lines or if we forget to smile. Everyone smiled when Mary got her dress cut up in her knickers. <laughs> okay, so what do you think you've enjoyed? You've learned about the nativity play. Baby Jesus was born in a barn. Jesus could have been born in a really fancy hotel or a posh hospital, but then it would have been a fairy tale, and this is a true story. God chose some really simple, ordinary things, like Mary and the donkey and the shepherds in the stable. What about the extraordinary star and the angels? They weren't the exact way ordinary now, were they? Seems to me uh -huh. there must have been some kind of intelligent design behind all the stories, some kind of Enemy plan? Hmm. So sorry to interrupt you. I'm afraid the children aren't even back from the assembly on right. Mrs. Devon has just got back as she wants to run through a song with some of the soloists before our first performance to our evening. Thank you for your time, children. No problem. Bye. You're welcome. next song from the beginning. Let's see how well you've been practicing.
Miss Potential and Tea Turtles, I have the delightful job of seeing the children singing their hearts out and presenting us this the Nintendo story. It's always good when I think this year tops for that. And I think you'd like to join me in thanking both the children and the staff for all their hard work. Can we put our hands together in appreciation? We're here tonight. Oh. 